real hard of and we're with uh, ubiquitous energy we're a technology that spun out of mit in late 2012 and our goal really is to make a transparent solar cell um, and the way we accomplish this is by letting all the visible light pass through and we're selectively absorbing the non-visible light so that's why we can have, make a solar cell that's essentially transparent so a couple of demonstrations i have here is uh, the world's biggest and first demonstration of a transparent solar window and so as you can see, this is about 70 to 75% transparent. And just by absorbing the light from the room that we're in today, you can see this is connected to a multimeter. I'm producing some low level of voltage, um, but if we were outside in the sunlight, this produces about 25 volts. Uh, since we're not outside, I have a higher power LED flashlight here. So when I shine this on the window, you can see I generate a lot more voltage. Um, the other thing we can do is, similarly, this is a, just a, a single cell device here. Uh, so when I shine a light on this, you can start to see I can sp uh, spin this fan. And, it, and as you can see, it's a pretty uh, transparent device as well. And so we've been around since that time. And again, our, our real goal is to integrate and implement this technology into all the surfaces where you want power, but you can't really integrate traditional solar technology because it's opaque. So the application areas for this um, kind of are, are endless. Um, when you start to think about this, of course, building windows makes sense. You know, wrapping skyscrapers with this technology and all the surfaces, all the windows to generate power. Um, the other areas maybe initially we'll get into first are commercial uh, consumer electronic devices. So things like I'm wearing like a smartwatch here. These kind of devices uh, typically run off batteries. So the biggest problem that people have, customers have with these products is short battery life and they continue to have to recharge it. Well now since we've come up with a solar technology that's transparent, we can integrate this right onto the display and you won't even really know that the technology is embedded into the product other than your battery lasts a lot longer. Uh, for a lot of devices such as mine which use the lower power type of display or reflective display, we can make these devices so that they have infinite battery life. And so these are the kind of main application areas where we're looking to get into uh, with the first commercialization coming late next year, late 2017. And where can someone go to learn more about the company? So uh, you can learn more about the company by visiting our website, mm -hmm. uh, ubiquitous energy, or ubiquitous.energy. There's no .com, so ubiquitous spelled just like uh, it is here uh, on the pamphlet here. And you can also follow us on Twitter and email us from the website as well.